In this video, I will share with you how we can install the iOS 6 interface on newer iOS devices, even on iOS 26, like the device on the right-hand side here. Now, let's install it together. Here, I have an iPhone running iOS 26. You will have a lock screen like this, and inside, you will have a set of icons from iOS 6 devices. For devices running iOS 26, we will have a customization feature that allows us to enlarge the icons. When we apply this set of icons together with the iOS 6 wallpaper, our iPhone device will look very unique and eye-catching. So right now, my device is on the iOS 26 interface. First, you need to prepare the wallpapers. For me, I will leave these two wallpaper files in the description section of the video. You will download these two wallpaper files first. After that, we will use them to set as the wallpaper for both the lock screen and the home screen. The one that has the custom black strip at the bottom with the text slide to unlock, we will set it on the lock screen. And at this point, you will remove the two shortcut keys on the lock screen. And the inner wallpaper, we will set that one. Also, turn off the blur effect. Now we will use this wallpaper set. So now you will have an interface like this. First, you will move the four apps that are currently on your dock upward. Now we have an empty dock like this. Next, you will need a profile, a configuration file, so that we can download the iOS 6 icon set as shown earlier. The link to install this configuration file will be placed in the video description. You just need to tap it and let it open through Safari. Then you can press allow. At this point, it has downloaded a configuration profile to our device. If you have ever installed iOS beta versions before, you will know about configuration profiles on iOS devices. Once we have downloaded the configuration file, go to Settings, General, VPN, and Device Management. Here, you will see the profile that was just downloaded. Tap it and tap Install. Then tap Install again here. After you've finished installing, you can exit. Now you will see that once the profile is installed, the iOS 6 version with icons like this will appear on your device. In total, it includes about 44 icons, from iOS system icons to third-party app icons. Now move the four apps back down to the dock. This depends on which apps you want to place on the dock. Just put the ones you use most often down here. But note, this only adds new icons for you. Your old icons are still there on your device. For example, if you still want to use the old icons, you can use them as usual. And if you want to switch to the new icons, you can open them and they will still launch the same apps for you. To make it easier to remove later, you only need to keep two pages of apps where the iOS 6 icons are located at the last two pages. That way, if you don't want to use them anymore later, you can easily delete them. But that's up to you. If you want to keep using them, you can arrange them however you want. If you want it to be easier to remove later, just keep them on the last two pages. Now you can zoom in the icon size to make them larger like this. When you open these apps, they will still open the actual apps on your iOS device. For example, I open Safari, I open Settings. So at this point, we have successfully installed the iOS 6 icon pack on newer iPhone models. For example, on my device here, iOS 26. And even on lower iOS versions like 16, 17, 18, you can also install it. Next, I'll talk about one more thing. If later you don't want to use it anymore and want to return to your original version, just go to settings, then go to the same place where you installed the profile. Now, simply tap remove profile. After you exit, your device will no longer have the iOS 6 icons. Next, just move the four apps back to the dock, then reapply your wallpaper, and you will have returned to your default interface before installation. So, I've shared with you how we can install the iOS 6 icon pack on newer iPhone models. This video will end here. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, and see you again in the next videos.